Hi guys, my name is Ryan, you can call me Shred, and today I just want to briefly explain the differences between game capture and PC display capture in OBS, and why using PC display capture might actually be a bad idea if you're gaming at a high refresh rate. Here's what I'm talking about. So right here I have OBS pull up, and I'm running a game. The test game that I'm using is Black Ops 4 because it's a game that I know I can get very high refresh rates in and I play on a 144 hertz monitor. Now with my current desk setup, I use two monitors when I'm PC gaming. My main monitor is a 144 hertz display. It's the one that I use to play my games on and I have a 60 hertz display sitting next to that which I use to keep OBS open, monitor everything that's going on and read my chat. So right here I'm going to show you kind of a test to prove that when you use PC display capture as a source in OBS on a 60 hertz monitor to capture gameplay that is being played on a 144 hertz or higher monitor, what you're actually going to be seeing on your fancy high refresh rate monitor is only going to be 60 FPS. Now, I don't know exactly why this happens, but I do know two ways to fix the situation. So here is scenario number one. Okay, so now we have the OBS window open on the left side, 60 hertz monitor, and we're using display capture. Now, when I go back to the game, I'm going to show you some slow motion footage right here, where you can see that the game clearly is still running about 150, 160 FPS, but the image looks very choppy when I uh, look left and right. So notice the choppiness of the motion now. The next step that we're going to do is we're going to go back to the 60 hertz monitor, drag the OBS window. This is all we're doing, just dragging it over to the 144 hertz monitor so that it is now running in the background of the monitor that we're gaming on. We switch back to the game, and I'm going to show you guys another slow motion test here. Now, once again, the game's running about 150, 160 FPS, but notice how much smoother the motion is. The first time when we had our PC display capture OBS window on the 60 Hz monitor, somehow it changed my 144 Hz monitor to 60 FPS. And so that's what I was seeing in the game. But if you drag it over and you put it in the background of the 144 Hz monitor, you get 144 Hz. Now, if you just have one monitor, this is not an issue. You just put it in the background and you forget about it. You can open chat on your phone or something like that. But for people who want to uh, monitor their stats and keep an eye on things and read their chat in their secondary monitor, let me show you guys a solution. Okay, option number two. This time, we're going to have OBS open on our 60 hertz monitor again, but we're going to use dis we're going to use game capture instead of display capture. Now, I'm going to show you the slow motion footage here, but we get nice smooth 144 FPS when we're using game capture, even though OBS is open on the 60 hertz display. So, I mean, problem solved, right? You just use game capture instead of display capture. In a perfect world, yes. However, in reality, I can't get this to work on every single game. The other main game that I play is Destiny 2, and Destiny 2, when you use game capture instead of display capture, it just comes up black. Uh, when I'm scrolling through the applications in the options of, just, of game capture, it shows up in there, but when I select it and actually put it into my scene, uh, it, it just comes up as black. So I, I don't think game capture works for every game out there. Um, maybe it works for the game that you play, maybe it doesn't. It doesn't work for me on Destiny 2, but it does seem to work on all the Call of Duty games. Um, I could test a few others, but I I'll leave that up to you guys. Whatever you play, try game capture. If that doesn't work, try display capture. But if you're going to use display capture, put it in the background. If you're going to use game capture, go ahead and put it on your side monitor. Um, I think if you have two 144 hertz monitors, you wouldn't need to worry about this. Because I kind of suspect that the way this works is it just, when you use display capture, whichever window you have OBS open in, or I'm sorry, whichever monitor you have OBS open in, um, will just become the refresh rate of all the monitors. So I, I don't know exactly what causes this to happen, but I've shown you guys a couple of workarounds. So I hope this video helps somebody out there. Thank you guys for watching. Happy gaming.